Hey guys, Dalji Free here, and today we're back to our second part of our Newcastle United versus Southampton preview. Today we're going to be looking more at the Newcastle United side, and I'm just going to touch on one of the few things I mentioned yesterday and how Newcastle might be able to beat that. However, um, you can watch this video in the information bar, by the way, if you did miss the video. Um, however, um, Steve Bruce, I said the squad looked a little bit, a few doubts. Looks like they might be back to full strength. Steve Bruce is sending his press conference. Um, but we'll go through a bit more of that in a bit. Uh, but first, I'm going to tell you our form recently. Obviously, 16th in the Premier League after Brighton goes above us. Um, so, um, Newcastle United lost 2 to Palace um, on uh, Tuesday. They beat Everton last Saturday. Um, they got a 2 1 uh, defeat to Leeds, a 2 0 defeat to Villa, a 3 0 defeat to Arsenal, and that 1 0 defeat to Sheffield United. Um, so. It's not great form, but it's not the worst form I've ever... Well, it is the worst form I've ever seen. Um, but now let's talk about the team news going from Steve Bruce and what he said today. Joe Willock will be involved at some point tomorrow. He's young, he's enthusiastic, and he's ready to go. He's been training with us, which is I think is really good for us. Um, I don't think he should start the game. I think he'll be like one of them impact subs. Um, however, not good defensively-wise, guys. Um, uh, especially for Newcastle United defenders. Jamal Lascelles has a hamstring problem, which we knew about. Federico Fernandez has a muscle problem, which we knew about. Jamal Lewis has picked up a hamstring problem, and they'll probably mo won't make it. Kieran Clark uh, is also... Well, he might not be available. It depends what time his uh, kid is born, because his wife has gone into labour. Uh, but he could be there if he's born... Or if... I say he... If he or she is born... Tonight, he could be there tomorrow, um, but we don't know. It just depends when the baby is born. Uh, Paul Dummett is still struggling with a muscle problem, so we're probably very depleted. So it could be a very makeshift defence tomorrow. Alanson Maximan, obviously, the team picked itself against Crystal Palace, and Steve Bruce did put a little comment on the Everton performance, saying it was our, easily our best performance of the season. Uh, Alan is fit, and um, we are pleased with him, and... He's ready to start, so he needs to start and instead of Jeff Hendrick for me. Um, but we had 20 attempts and 60% of possession, which pleased... Well, it pleased Newcastle fans to have more of the ball, but also uh, uh, pleased Brucey. Um, a number of chances um, was pleasing as well, but unfortunately we gave too many poor goals away and the 15 to 20 minutes ultimately cost, cost us the game. I thought we played okay overall. I thought we did do okay, but there was certain... Uh, parts of the midfield which was sloppy. Um, the squad info obviously Yedlin going out means there was one place available in the squad but Hamid Chowdhury not coming in. Matt's place has gone to Christian Atsu and uh, Steve Bruce said it was a no brainer uh, since Xavier is running low on his contract. He also mentioned on why Graham Jones was in the stand for the 10 15 minutes. He said he wanted to look from a height before coming down to the dugout. However, he didn't look, he sighed before that going a little hmm. Well, Graham Jones wanted to go up to the stands for a bit to look down. And then surprised that he said, and then he was behind me in the dugout. I don't know why people are making a fuss about it. Anyway, let's go on how I think we need to play. I think, like I said a bit earlier before, Hendrick should be dropped. I think most Newcastle fans will agree with me. He's just a bench player. He's a backup. He's kind of like the Sean Long stuff. I do think Shelby will play this game, but this could be his last game. So he needs to prove why he can still be in the team. Um, I don't think Willock will come in straight away. I think for today we have to play some of the front three with this slow passing it um they do around the back. One they've got to go as a three of the line, and that's the only three they can go. They've got to be as a line, they've got to press and you've got to keep that sideways, and eventually you can push one of the midfielders up, so maybe a Miggy will join that as well. And it could be a case of having six men behind the ball I and mean, four men going forward, but we don't know. We need to copy also their attacking fullbacks, especially if Matt Ritchie plays, because when I think it's very likely Matt Ritchie will play this game. So he'll want to bomb up, and I think we've got to allow our centre backs to drive forward, get them to the halfway line. This allows Shelby Hayden to be out 35 yards from the goal, and that's probably where you'd expect a, a defensive midfielder to be. Um, for me, I and then you can have Miggy, Fraser, Maxi, Willock when he comes on. Um, and Fraser all in the box, and I've said Fraser, Wilson all in the box on a Richie Cross. We know Richie Crossing is pretty uh, decent, so 
that's overworld in the box. That's something we always struggle with. The team I think Steve Bruce could end up playing tomorrow, as it currently stands, could be Darlo, Monkeo, Kraft, Shaw, Richie, Hayden, Shelby, Fraser, Almiron, ASM, and Wilson. And I have talked about that in that little moment there. So match facts before I end this video and these previews. Uh, Newcastle United have lost one of the last 15 home Premier League matches against Southampton, winning 11, drawing 3, winning each of their last three in a row. So the fixture says Southampton aren't very good at like here, like we're not good at flipping um, Fulham recently before we beat them 4-0 under Rafa. We're not really good at the Emirates, we're not really good at most places to be honest, but um, that's Southampton, one of Southampton's bogey grounds. Southampton are looking to record their only third double over Newcastle United. Previously, was doing it in 1993 and 2014-2015. Newcastle United have only won more than uh, only won more than home Premier League games against Aston Villa and Everton, 14 each. But then they have against Southampton, 13. So we can equal our best home record against Southampton today. And some stats about Callum Wilson, our informed striker, Newcastle United striker. Callum Wilson has been directly involved in 15 Premier League goals in his first 20 appearances for the Magpies. 10 goals, 5 assists, which is unbelievable um, for a striker. The fact that we've been struggling, like we had Rondon, he did okay. We had Joe Linton, Gale, struggled, Hosselu. Um, we had Mitrovic, who's struggling in the Premier League. Uh, the most in Newcastle players' first 20 games since not played since Denver Bar in February 2012 with 16 goals and 1 assist. So we've got finally got a decent striker, which everyone knew that. So if we're going for a prediction, I think Southampton have a pretty strong squad for this game. And I do think it'll be a tough game. However, if Brucey plays the exact same way we play against, um, against Crystal Palace, we'll create, but I don't think we'll have to be too slow about it. We need to shoot on site. We need the midfielders to push up a little bit more. We need the defence to be around about the halfway line, attacking fullbacks, and that's how we'll win the game. But I don't think we'll do that. We'll allow the uh, Shelby and Hayden to drop back so the centre backs can't drive, and then we'll be in a problem again. So I think the most likely result here is probably going to be a 2 2 draw. Um, and I'll still take a 2 2 draw against Southampton because if Fulham lose, West Brom lose, and Sheffield lose, it'd be decent results. If they need it, we just need to hope they keep losing. I mean, obviously, Burnley and Fulham have a game in hand, uh, but that game in hand is uh, against each other. So one of them's going to drop points, which is probably good for us. So we need to start thinking about getting some wins. But a point I will take for this weekend, but I'd love to have three. If we lose, we're going to be in massive trouble, and the Bruce Out Brigade will still be going, and it'll be going even more. But thank you for watching this video. If it did, leave a like, comment, subscribe. Uh, come back for the review of the Southampton game tomorrow. And I'll see you all later. Goodbye, guys.